Well, a lot of things went right in 2021 for Trevor Rogers as he was an all star, but everything went backwards uh, last year, especially his four seamer hit at a 312 clip. You're going to see a lot of two seam sinking fastballs this afternoon. Tommy Pham leads off. Pham has his way with a base hit to start the festivities today. Now with Starling Marte stepping into the batter's box, Trevor's got his hands full. One and two the count to Marte, and the pitch is lined towards third. Diving is John Birdie. He makes the catch. He just robs Starling Marte of a base hit. Here's Francisco Lindor, the man at first and one out. Ground ball. Birdie backs up, gets a good hop. Feeds second on to first. In and out of the glove of Guriel. That keeps the inning alive for Alonzo. A four-pitch walk to Alonzo, and the Mets have two men on. Now Mark Canna will be the batter. He had a big night last night. And he takes it high ball four eight straight balls from Rogers and that loads him up. Now he gets his first left hand batter with McNeil who's three for 13 to start the year looking to get the Mets off to a fast start in this first inning. Rogers ahead on McNeil one and two and a little topper Rogers comes off the mound makes the flip and it gets oh. away. Bam is in. Here comes Alonzo. Canna turns third. He'll stop there. 2-0 New York. Oh what do you say about putting a ball in play? He put it in play softly and Rogers and Guriel could not make the play and two runs come home. Well every eye today is on the 30 year old right hander Kodai Senga. The war number 41 in Japan couldn't take 41 with the Mets so he crowdsourced which number he should wear and they said and Nolan Ryan wore 34. Nice. Hey. Louisa Rise will lead off for the Miami Marlins. Sanga works primarily out of the stretch, and here's the pitch, and it's a line drive. Back up the middle and a base hit. Louisa Rise could not be stopped. Jorge Soler steps in. That one kicks away, and Arise is going to move up to second. So far, uh, Paul Kodai Sanga having a little trouble. Payoff pitch is laced the other way. That's going to score Arise and get all the way to the wall. Jorge Soler, run producer for the Marlins, makes it two to one. Now Jazz Chisholm is two for 11, including a home run. He comes set, looks towards third, and the three-one pitch is inside ball four. Three consecutive Marlins have reached here in the bottom of the first inning, and now Avi Garcia will be the batter. Senga's payoff pitch is up and in, and the Marlins have him loaded. Well, now he's facing Guriel, right-hand batter. Hard to strike out. Yep. One-two from Senga. And the bat goes flying. Guriel strikes out, and Senga has a strikeout for his first out in the major leagues. The ghost that made Guriel's bat disappear. One out, base is still loaded. Here's Jesus Sanchez. And Sanchez goes down swinging. He got him with a split. So that was the fork ball. Back to back strikeouts, and now here's John Birdie, right hand batter. Bernie gets a breaking ball and drives it to right. Marte over to make the catch. Marte shaded toward right field against Bernie, and that was the right spot to be. He gets Senga out of the inning with just one run scoring. Maybe Senga is a little more relaxed and even keeled now after working out of what could have been huge trouble in that first inning. One man out, and back to first goes Stallings. And back to the top of the order now, and Luis arrives, and this is not going to be easy. This guy hits everything. One thing he hasn't done yet is get Luis a rise out by nice. McNeil with a nice stop. Lindor with the flat footed throw and they turn the double play against a rise to get Senga through the second inning. So for Senga, we got a double play ball and face the minimum in the second inning. Trying to settle down even more. Soler chases one for strike three. One down in the third. So now the lefty Jazz Chisholm Jr. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. Guess what? The ghost again. This is ghost, Kodai says, for the second time in the inning. There's obviously a Garcia with two out and nobody on. And he drives one out to right. Marte's in front of it. Side retired. Seven pitch inning for Kodai Singa as he gets a one, two, three for the first time. The Mets get a leadoff runner on. Tommy Pham, the batter, right hand hitter. The home run numbers are really instructive about Rogers year last year. 15 home runs and 107 innings. So fly oh. ball, deep left center field, back in the gap, looking up Chisholm, and it's out of here! Tommy Pham with his first home run as a New York Met. A two run shot into Auto Nation Alley. And the Mets now have a 4 to 1 lead.
Well, that's got to feel good for <coughs> Mr. Pham. Gonai Senga now has a three-run lead as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Senga has now retired eight in a row. Here's the one-two. Swung on and missed strike three. There's that fork ball, and that's six strikeouts for Senga. One away, and Joey Wendell coming up. Line to right, another play for Marte, and he scoots back to get it to retire Wendell, two out. Here's a rise, left-hand batter. Three and one. <laughs> I mean, you get used to it, right? Another multi-hit game for Luis Chariz. Here's Soler, right-hand batter. Eighth pitch of the at-bat, and he struck yeah. him out with the fork ball. Senga with seven strikeouts, each one of them with that dastardly ghost fork. Last of the sixth inning in Miami. The Mets four, the Marlins one, and Kodai Senga stays on. Facing Jazz Chisholm, left-hand batter. 3-2 coming. And he got him. Eight strikeouts for Kodai Senga. Notice his delivery is three quarters, and watch the ball move away. So Senga finishes with a flourish as Senga leaves, and he'll get a great ovation. Mets leading 4-1, to one, one out, last of the sixth. Dennis Santana is on the pitch. He'll face Avi Garcia here with one out. Uh, Garcia asks for time. Oh, they called a strike. A time uh, violation for strike three. Oh. So it's a strikeout for Santana on a clock violation. <laughs> Senga's face. Dennis Santana will get credit for a strikeout of Abasayel Garcia. So Tim gets on. Here's Tommy Pham. Pham's having a terrific day. Castro runs. Pham lines at the center. Overcomes Chisholm. He can't get it. It's by him into the wall. La Castro around third. He's going to score. Pham into second base with an RBI double. Big day for Tommy Pham. His third RBI. It's 5-1 to one New York. There are really going to be some growing pains in center field for Jazz Chisholm Jr. with the Miami Marlins. I mean, that's a ball that a center fielder should catch him. Well, it is Steven Nagosik out to try and finish off this game. So one more out to get for Nagosik. John Birdie will be the batter. Bouncing ball, Escobar will handle. And the ball game is over. Kodai Senga gets the victory in his first major league appearance, striking out eight over five and a third. Tommy Pham with a huge day, a double, a homer, three RBIs. And the Mets take three out of four in Miami as they win today five to one.